This commenter is asking how many years would it take for the US and Venezuela to have a better relationship? The answer is it depends on why the US wants the better relationship. If the US believes it's in its geopolitical interests, it can happen very quickly. For example, at the beginning of the 80s, Iraq was on the US list of state sponsors of terror. But then in 1983, not only did the Reagan administration remove Iraq from that list, we began selling them a plethora of weapons, as well as providing them with other forms of military aid. Now you may be asking, how did we go from saying they were supporting terror to selling them weapons so quickly? Well, in 1979, Iran had a revolution and overthrew the Shah, who was a US-backed dictator. As you would expect, the US didn't like this. So then, when Iraq went to war with Iran, the US saw this as a prime opportunity. Now keep in mind, the US chose to look the other way when Iraq committed very blatant war crimes both against Iran and their own citizens. Now that's one reason the US might improve relations. Another might be humanitarian. Those improvements tend to happen far slower. For example, when Obama very slowly stuck his hand out and started easing up some of our hostilities towards Cuba. That was very quickly reversed by Donald Trump. Trump then went even farther and put Cuba back on the very same state sponsor of terror list that Reagan took Iraq off of decades earlier. Hmm, sure seems like we use that list for political reasons more than anything. Well, what about Venezuela? This very much falls in the former category of being for geopolitical reasons. Biden is not reaching his hand out to them because he's tired of us strangling their economy. Rather, Venezuelan oil can help offset some of the Russian oil we're currently sanctioning. So long answer to a short question, the US could re-improve relations with Venezuela very quickly, not because we just care that much, but because we view it as our strategic interest.